Hello. Today we celebrate the memory of Saint Francis of Assisi, and he, of course, is a saint that is known all over the world, that has touched in his own time the lives of many people and continues to touch the lives of many people. Through his witness and through his uh, life that was really radical, a radical um, choice for the gospel virtues, he already in his time inspired many people, among them, among them many young people, to follow the same way. Because just by doing what Jesus Christ had invited him to do, he, of course, awakened the hearts of many people to the questions about what is fundamental in life, what is more important, what is really that it is at the core of being a Christian. And many young people among them here, St. Clare of Assisi, she has also followed him and has become on, in her own way a great saint because also she met with him and she was guided by him and then also she guided many other young women to Christ, to a life of radical commitment to the gospel because of that love that she saw, first of all, in St. Francis, who was basically an image of Jesus Christ in the way that he lived poverty, in the way that he lived in community, in the way that he really treated everyone around him as his neighbor. And this is what we see even in the liturgy of today, the readings of the day. One of them, of course, the gospel tells us about this question that the lawyer asked Jesus in order to test him. And Jesus makes him answer it. And he answers it rightly saying, you know, what is more important? And the more important thing is to love God and with all that we are and to love our neighbor, right? And then he asks Jesus, who is our neighbor, right? And we hear that story about the man who was uh, on the street there, uh, left, you know, by bandits, hurt and so on with many wounds. And a priest passes by and doesn't care. Uh, a Levite passes by and doesn't care. People passing by, people of faith, supposedly, and they don't care about that person lying on the street lying on the road, right? And the Samaritan, which was a kind of a person that everyone judged, everyone hated in among uh, the Jewish believers of the time. He is the one that stops by, takes care of the man already there on the spot and brings him to an inn, takes care of him there and even provides for his care while he's away saying that when he returns, he will pay for everything. This is the neighbor, no? the man who showed mercy, as Jesus himself says, and as the man himself, the lawyer, answers after when Jesus asks him, who was the neighbor to that man on the road? And he says, the one who showed him mercy. And then Jesus tells him to the lawyer, you go and do likewise. And we know that St. Francis did that. Right? He treated everyone as his brother and sister, even creation in a sense that sound maybe amazing sometimes to hear how he called poverty his sister, he called death his sister, he called everyone brother and sister. He even went to talk to a Muslim, right, in order to share the good news of the gospel, even if he had to become a martyr, which he didn't become, but he went. He didn't just stay quiet in his place, judging the other, you know, speaking ill about the other. And this is something amazing as well, that one of the brothers of Francis asked him, you know, Francis, how do I get perfect joy? This joy that will last, this joy that no one will be able to take away from me. And Francis answers him saying, Perfect joy is like this, you know, we are here on the road and it's raining, it's cold, we are hungry, 
when we arrive at uh, our destination, it, we will be very tired, you know. And imagine, we knock at the door, our brothers are inside, right? And we say, oh, here we are. Uh, we are two of your brothers. We just came from uh, whatever we were doing. Let us in, please. And this brother inside, through the little opening of the door, he looks at us and he doesn't recognize us and he tells us, you are liars, you are bandits, you want to steal what we have here to give to the poor and you want to take it for yourselves and to make a profit of it. And Francis says, this is perfect joy, that we, in front of that injustice, we do not judge our brother, we do not speak ill of him, but we bear it patiently and with love. And even imagine if we continue knocking at the door again just to try, you know, to convince him and he comes out with a bat and he runs after us and he starts beating us. If we are able to bear that with joy, that injustice, and pray for our brother and give thanks to God and not judge our brother, that is perfect joy. Perfect joy is to be like Jesus Christ, who bared all kinds of injustice, but who prayed for his enemies. So my brothers and sisters, despite all the kinds of cute things we say about St. Francis, oh, he loved nature, oh, he was poor and he gave everything to the others, let's take seriously this word and ask God and ask Francis to make us like Jesus Christ, as he made Francis like Jesus Christ, able to bear injustice, to love and to pray for our enemies and to bless them, to bless everyone around us through our witness. May God keep you. May God bless you. May God always watch over you. Amen.